Yensid Organist here, and welcome to another episode of New in Town. Hope you guys are having a great day today. In our last episode, we got our town started, we got our lumber mill built, we've got our mine built, and so we've been starting to get some resources here to get things going. So today, I want to focus on getting food sources here in our town. So let's take a look in our book. And so what I want to work on, I want to work on getting a fishery. And this gets a pond where we will have fish stocked every day. To do that, we're going to need a fishing rod, so we're going to need some string. We're going to need kelp, and we'll need to go find an ocean for that. Let's see. I want to get a bakery. So for this, we need brick blocks. I believe that there is a swamp nearby, so we can start working on that. We need 24 brick blocks, so we're going to need a decent amount of clay. And then we'll also need a smoker. That's not a big deal. That I can do pretty easily. A uh, few logs, a little bit of stone. That's not too bad. And then finally, a butchery. So for this, we're going to need hay bale, smoker, cauldron, and some leather. And I think this is what I want to maybe look at first. Um, let me get my armor back on here. So I don't have any of that at the moment, but I do have some seeds. So I think let's do... Uh, I'm going to need another iron. So let's go ahead and get a hoe, and let's get this um, these seeds planted so we can get some wheat growing. And I've got this little pond here, so let's maybe clear some of this out. And then we can get just a little bit of a wheat field going, and I have some bones from... Um, the adventuring that I did in the last one, so we can do uh, a little bit of bone mealing to get that to grow a little bit faster. All right, we're going to go with this, and then let me just do, I think I had 18 seeds, 19, so let's see. I think that'll do, well, that's not going to do. Let's do that. I'm really struggling to plant these seeds. Too far. There we go. Alright. Got our little advancement there. Okay. So we're going to let that go. And now I don't have any leather. So I need to go out and find some cows. There's probably a bunch in the area. So let me go start working on the resources that we're going to need for the butchery, and then I will bring you guys back when we are ready to build. So my wheat field is not progressing nearly as fast as I would like it to. I've been gathering what I can and getting seeds as much as I can. So I have it growing, but it's very slow and definitely didn't have um, a lot enough bone meal to get all of the hay bales that we need. There came our resources in. So I went over, and turns out there's not a swamp over there, but there is a rhythm. A rhythm? There is a river over there, which allowed me to get the clay that I need to get our brick blocks so that we can get our bakery going. So that's what we are going to do first. Now the question is, where do we want to put this? Um... I'm kind of thinking maybe this could be like an industrial area. So I don't know if we want to expand this way or maybe this way. You know what? Let's expand this way. And so then let's put our bakery here. So this is all going to go like this. And we're going to need to buy some more building permits today. So there's that. And then... I think that's everything I need. There we go. All right. We have our bakery. And I suspect we're probably going to have new friends from the nether coming to join us in the near future. But let's go ahead and check this out. So we have our baker. And we have... 
Are these furnace minecarts? That's what it looks like. The, the fire's making me a little nervous, but it should be fine. Uh, yeah, a couple of smokers here, and then what do you trade for us? So, with gold, we can get baked potatoes, we can get cakes, um, and we can get bread. So, not necessarily the greatest. These are a little bit on the expensive side, but we can get something with that. So, that's good. Uh, let's make sure nothing is coming to attack us. I'm not sure which, um... I know, like, when you hit certain number of structures, you get, um, nether friends coming to greet you, but I don't remember which ones actually trigger something like that. So, that's our third structure. So, I feel like that might have brought something our way. Let's see if maybe we can see anything from up here. Aha! Yes, that is new. Alright, let's go check that out. Ooh, my shield is almost done. Let's see what we've got over here. Aha! A wither skeleton. A tyrant scout. In the water. No match for us. Alright. Go ahead and put this fire out. And there we go. Okay. So, I, maybe we won't have to get a building permit. All right. So, I think the next thing um, is I think I want to work on the fishery. So, for that, I'm going to need some fishing rods, and I'm going to need to, some kelp. So, the ocean is over there, somewhere beyond that savanna. And I may do a little exploring um, as I go over there, because I really want to find a village. Um, I think that could be useful in gathering some resources. So, yeah. So, I guess I'm going to sleep. I'm going to go get what we need to get the fishery, and just do a little bit of exploring. Kelp has been acquired. I still have not found a village. That savanna actually goes on for quite a ways. Um, but yeah, did not did not find too much beyond that. So I'm gonna have to take a much um, a, a, an adventure much further afield. Um, probably maybe in the next episode we might go exploring a little bit. I need to gear up a little bit better too because I still don't have any diamonds. So we will need to work on that. But I've got everything that we need for the fishery. I've got the fishing poles made. So we're going to go ahead and get all of these resources in here. And there we go. We have a fishery. So we got this little pond down here. We've got some sea pickles. There should be fish in here, maybe? I'm not seeing any fish, but we do have some kelp, which will continue to grow, so that'll be good. Um, we could possibly use those sea pickles as light, and then, actually, we'll probably see this, because um, it's coming up on noon here. We will get our resources. So here is our fisherman. And let's see, so we can get raw cod, we can get raw salmon. Ooh, bucket of tropical fish will get us a lot of gold, so that's nice with the ocean, although I'm not sure what kind of ocean it is. Um, but dried kelp will get us some. We can get nautilus shells, that's really nice. Um, I guess, well, it's a nice trade to be able to have. I don't know that it's overly practical in this series, but eh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, so it's past noon, oh, and there are some fish for us, so I think probably gonna go ahead and, um, take these fish out, maybe, there we go, and that will get us food, it's, it's not necessarily the greatest source, but, um, we can get that cooked up pretty easily, and that will help us out. So, let me just pop that in there. And then, let's see if we have any more nether visitors. At some point, we're going to get an actual portal. But... 
looking out over things right now, I don't see anything. Let's go over here, get a little bit of a higher vantage point. No, I'm not seeing anything. So, I think we're pretty safe. I think the uh, the next time we're going to get a portal and we're going to get a ghast. So that'll be an interesting little challenge there. Alright, well, I just need the rest of my wheat to grow. And then we will a be able to get that butchery made so that we can start getting some cows and some leather. And did I take out the edge of my farm? <laughs> just... No. <laughs> all right, we're, we're going to have to move this. I guess that's all still under there. Um, yeah, okay. Well, let me go get the rest of the resources that I need for that. And then we will get our next building going. Welcome back, everyone. So I've got enough wheat that I've been able to make the hay bales that we need. And I think we are ready to go. So I think I want to have our butchery go off this way. And then we can have all of our food buildings all in the same area. So let's go ahead and pop all of this in here. Fortunately, I didn't actually have to buy any building permits today. But we will do that. Um today. I want to trade in some of the resources that I've been gathering um, and get some more gold and just kind of lay a little bit of the groundwork for what we need to do. And there we go. <laughs> kind of drop off the hill here. So <laughs> we're going to need to build something in here. We might need to fill this in if we're going to continue expanding that way. I haven't decided exactly where I want the footprint of this town to be. But we've got a few cows here. And I have a little bit of extra wheat over here. So let's start breeding those cows up. Um... Because I think that is probably going to be our primary source of food, is breeding these cows high. And maybe we'll go out and get some more, just so that we can have them here and ready to go. Cool. All right. And so then we got a composter here. we got a cauldron. That's nice. And then we have our butcher here. So what can we trade? So for five gold, we can get three raw beef. For a bucket of milk, we can actually get three gold. I wonder if we get the bucket back. Probably not. And then for gold, we can get some leather. Did you hear that? That's a ghast. Okay, so let's... um. Oh, he's right there. Okay, so yeah. So we got our portal, and we got a ghast. Um, I do not want the ghast coming anywhere near our village. So I think what we're going to do is watch, and then I want to head out there this side and quickly dash out of range of anything so when he starts shooting fireballs at us um, we will be able to um, keep him from destroying anything important. Alright, so let's go there, get away from the gate, and let's go, let's go this way. Alright, now where did that ghast go? I'd love to be able to sneak up and get close to him because that would make a return to sender much easier. I have a bow, but I'm not going to get a lot of shots off with it. Hmm. Oh, ghast friend. Oh, there he is. Okay. Might get lucky sneaking up. Whew. He's going way far away. All right, I kind of want to block the sight line until I'm a little bit closer. Of course, if he keeps going that way, he's going to make it very difficult for us to dispatch him. Oh, there he is. Okay. So, I really wish you would come lower. Let's maybe see. Water is probably a good place. Yoo-hoo! Oh, Mr. Ghast. 
No. Am I going to have to go up on the mountain to get in your sight line? Well, at least he's not going to damage anything in the village over here. Alright, well, I do have ten arrows. And a little bit of durability on this boat. This is going to be really hard to hit. Way too high. No, don't go that way. That was too low. I don't want to waste these arrows. Yeah, that's not going to do any good. You need to come down here. I did see that arrow fall. Let me go pick that back up. Well, at least I thought I saw it fall. Really? We might have to. We might have to visit our little end island up there. Yeah. I don't really want to do that either, but... He doesn't seem to have any desire to come down to the ground. Should have dealt with him a little bit sooner. No! How many arrows do I have left? Five. Aha! That's gonna be too low. I don't know. I have three arrows left. Yoo-hoo! Got him! Alright, that'll work. We got the Uneasy Alliance. <laughs> Something which, ironically, I've still been working for on my um, single-player world. All right, we got a building permit, and we got some gunpowder. No gas tier? Doesn't look like it. All right. Well, that really wasn't too bad. I was expecting that to be a lot worse, but we survived. First encounter with a ghast. Okay, so we need to go back to that portal. And get the fire put out. <laughs> There's no wood in the area, so it shouldn't be too bad. And then the question is, do we want to take a peek into the nether? We could. Um, oh, why not? What could possibly go wrong? We could fall into lava. Alright, nether wastes. Not awful. Not overly useful, but not awful. Alright, that'll do. I'm just going to go ahead and put those bricks back so that nothing comes through. <laughs> but there we go. So let's do just a little bit of trading before we finish things off. Let me show you a couple of things that I've been... Where's my sword? Why is my sword there? Anyway, um... So I have a little bit of a grove of trees that I've been growing, just oak trees and coming and farming those. Not the most efficient things. I might go get some dark oak saplings because then we can trade those and we, it's a one for one trade for oak. And then this is my, this is my mining quarry to get cobblestone um, and some other things like that. So I've just started digging out this area as I've been killing some time waiting for stuff to grow. <laughs> Um, and I figure it's good to have it close, you know, we don't need anything special, so we have a nice little place that's designated for mining and for getting wood. So let's go, let's see what we've got in here. So I've got a whole bunch of logs, so let's grab a couple of stacks of that, and then let's grab three stacks of cobblestone. 
And if we go over to our lumberer, we can do that. All right. And then let's go over to our mine. And yeah, so we'll get gold for that. All right, so we got more than enough gold to keep us going. That way I can get food if I need it, um, and I can get other resources as I figure out what we need. And then what did I want to do? Oh, I wanted to come over here and get some more building permits, which I probably don't need too many. Let's get a four, and that's going to be what we will ultimately need. Um... Oh, I got more gold than I know what to do with. <laughs> so the plan going forward, we have five buildings in our town right now. Once we get to nine, we are going to have to deal with the tyrant. So I'm going to have to figure out what we want, what are we want our next four buildings to be, what the most efficient things to have, and what's going to get us best equipped to deal with the tyrant. Because, uh, yeah, that's a wither boss fairly early on. Um, and if I understand it correctly, I think this is a, um, more powerful wither. So, yeah, so we're gonna have that to contend with. Um, yeah, so we're gonna need to figure out which other buildings we need. I definitely, um, as I said earlier, need to gear up a little bit more before we, before we take that on. And I want to do some exploring of the area. Uh, yeah. So I think that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, I would encourage you to subscribe and make sure you click that little notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my latest posts. Be sure to follow me on social media. Thanks for watching. See you real soon.